working of a torch. You all must have used an electric torch at home. Through this experiment, we will learn about the function and structures of an electric torch. First, we will learn about the various components of an electric torch. Number one, case of a torch. Number two, battery. Number three, bulb. Number four, electric circuit. Number five, switch. Let us learn about each component one by one. An electric torch has two or more electric cells. Each electric cell has a positive which is marked as plus and a negative which is marked as minus at both ends of the terminal. They are connected in such a way that positive terminal of one cell is connected to negative terminal of the other. Even in torch, positive and negative terminals are marked. Before placing an electric cell in a torch, you must ensure that positive terminals of a cell is placed along with the positive terminal of a torch. The torch gets the electric energy from these cells. The electric energy is necessary for bulb connected in the circuit to glow. Every torch has a small bulb connected in the circuit which glows to give light. The circuit of an electric torch is controlled by a switch. When switch is on, the circuit is complete and the bulb glows to give light. The components of a torch are enclosed in a plastic body called the case of a torch. Functioning of a torch The best way to understand the working of a torch is to compare it with a simple electric circuit diagram. A circuit diagram in which the parts of the torch are represented by symbols. There are two electric cells, a switch and a torch bulb. The lines in the diagram represent the metal conductors which connect the system together. A circuit is a closed conducting path in the torch, when switch is on, the circuit is complete and allows current to flow and bulb glows. When switch is off, the bulb does not glow and we do not get light. When switch is on, the bulb glows and we get light.